crazy. You know, at first I thought, man, are they building hydrogen bombs or something here, you know? <laughs> you know, but I've been in every single room. Every, I mean, down to the security room, I put the, I put the screens in for the security. You know I mean, they can hear us right now. They can hear us. They have the, the Where's Waldo, Eye in the Sky program. So, you're not worried about the hearing? What are they going to do? Fire me? Well, you signed an NDA, right? Yeah, of course I did. Okay. I'm not breaking another contract. I'm telling you that they're doing what they need to be doing. Okay. That's it. I'm not breaking no contract. Lucid Motors' unauthorized and unhinged employee interview. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. I paid a visit to the Lucid Motors factory on July 29th, along with Bear and Riley from Bear's Workshop. I knew we weren't going to get inside, and we probably wouldn't see anything interesting, but I never imagined we'd land an exclusive employee interview, let alone with a character like this. If you follow Bear's Workshop, this is the one you've been waiting for. And if you don't, well, it doesn't cost anything, so, you know check it out. Now it's a bit impossible to fact check the claims made by this employee and some of them sound unlikely or even insane. So take it all with a grain of salt, if not a heaping quarter cup of it, and enjoy. To clarify the legality of this recording, we were clearly a camera crew with a bulky camera and a tripod gathering video for coverage. And Arizona is also a one-party consent state, um, which means even if it was filmed surreptitiously, which it was not, um, it's still legal because we were party to the, to the video being made. But it was all out in the open, so, you know. If you want to see the complete, uncut version of the interview, um, it's going to be up on Patreon for my patrons. Um, and there will be a way to see it for free at the end of the video, but it involves commenting and liking. So, you know, do that now, do it early, um, subscribe, I don't know, do all that good stuff. And uh, if you just want to see it, you can go to patreon.com slash glossy news. There are timestamps on the video to each of the major points, so if you want to skip around, skip ahead, go for it. So let's just get into it. said it's a lot besides them. Oh, it's not a lot? No, no it's not. It's not. They, they no, actually just yeah, put up the that's sign. That's pretty me. embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, it, you know what? They're just telling you that because that's they're trying to keep us off. This is our 12th visit here. Is it? So this is the first important point where I'm going to stop it because he came out and said we can't film. Now, clearly we can. We're on city property there. We're not going over the city. And Lucid, for some reason, has a real aversion to people making anything about their property without them being part of it, and also they don't want to be part of it. So they've got everyone, all the way down to the landscapers, trained to drive us away, and they've got these weird signs that say it's a no-fly zone for drones, and that it's aerial trespassing, which in Arizona is not a thing, and according to the FAA, is not a thing. So if you want to learn more about that, again, you can check out Bear's Workshop, because he deals with them more often than he ha should have to. So, have you been inside? Yeah, I've been all. I've been in every room in there. Are the I've cars in there? Together. Are the cars in there? Yeah. Well, we don't doubt that. We just want. To be Are they just the prototypes? No, they're building cars for customers. Okay, so you've actually seen them? Yeah. I know you don't care because it's your last day. Yeah, so it's me. my last day. I don't give a shit. Yeah, no, no, they're just, they're building cars. They got plenty. Of, they're building cars for customers, man. Yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude. So, are they building cars? Well, uh, it's this guy's last day. Uh, but I still decided to protect his identity. So in upcoming clips here, you'll see he's been blurred. Um, I don't think that will actually protect his identity, but I've got to do something, again, even though it's his last day. And uh, he says that they are, in fact, producing cars inside, and he'll go into greater detail. Let's check it out. So is the production line actually moving along? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're moving. That's why there's the auto car. Yeah. Yeah, that's all day. That's first and second shift now. 
So yes, he's saying that they are absolutely building cars. And the real takeaway on this little bit is that they've got a first and a second shift, uh, which would suggest they're building more than a couple, I guess. Where are the cars going? The ones that they finish? Uh, well, the first like 198 of them went to like, um, you know, their investors and the people that, fucking, that, that, that want to show the people that invested in it. Uh -huh. You know, and then they're already done with that part of it. Now they're just doing, they already have their built orders. And now they're just doing the, they build the cars, man. They put it in the block and wrap and they ship them to the customer. So in this part, he's saying that 198 cars have already been built and shipped to investors. Now, I, I've got to tell you, this claim is ridiculously dubious. I can't imagine 200 cars going out to millionaires and billionaires without one of them leaking a photo, without one of their friends leaking, without someone somewhere seeing it. It seems very suspicious to me. Not suspicious, it seems wrong, but Lucid's not exactly giving me anything to go on to counter it, so I don't know what I'm supposed to say about that. So are they shipping them out in those 18 wheelers that go by that say Lucid? Can't really see yeah, it. it'll be the nice ones that have the car hauler thing on it. You know, okay. Enclosed car hauler custom car thing. So, right. so the 198 for investors is that part of that 577 that they were going to build? No, that's I think that's what they're doing right now. The 577? Yeah, I don't but, know what number they're on, but they're moving. They're moving. They're doing. Pretty soon they're going to be doing a, a car every hour, dude. A car every fucking hour. But they just had. They're getting their like quality techs and all that familiar with everything. You know, yeah. they got other people from Cali. Feeling them in on how to how to fucking rotate the bumpers and all that good shit, man. Oh, sure. Wait, wait. They'll be they'll be coming out here, dude. They'll be running over here in a minute. So in this part, he's saying that they're ramping to one car per hour, and that would be that would be great. When they finish, they car, come out in the cars. They fucking run them on they the roads. They, they run them on these the fucking paved roads. The ones that they're building now, do they test them on the test track back yeah, there? Yeah, I got a test track back there. Yeah. Okay. So here he's saying that they're road testing them. Uh, which is a rumor that Bear has heard before, and uh, added that they're also testing them on the test track out back, which would be also good news. Um, still, um, still waiting to see some of them, but this is is a bit believable. The 198 I still don't know about. It seems seems unlikely, but this part is less unlikely. What do you do? Fire me. Well, you signed an NDA, right? Yeah, of course I did. Okay. I'm not breaking another contract. I'm telling you that they're doing what they need to be doing. Okay. That's it. I'm not breaking no contract. My contract is I can't tell you how to build the motors or the battery packs or the, you know, how how they how they paint the cars or how long right. it takes to paint it or how they're doing it. You know what I mean? How long does it take to paint it? <laughs> you know, you know that you know uh, the Beethoven song. The, the Beethoven, the Beethoven song, the long ass song. Uh, which one? Yeah. Uh, Sim Ninth. Oh, the oh, the ninth. Beethoven's ninth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how long it takes to paint the car. Okay. That car. That for that song. That's how long it takes. And that's the longest process is painting it. Yeah, Beethoven's ninth. Don't ask why I knew that. I'm not sure why I knew that. Mm, pretty weird. So looked it up. Um, it is in fact uh, Beethoven's longest symphony. It is just over an hour, hour five, hour six minutes, uh, which would be in line with um, what he'd said earlier about ramping to one car an hour and that that, the paint shop, is the bottleneck. And for a factory that size, I don't know, one car an hour seems a bit slow, but uh, especially during testing and configuring, I don't know, seems, I guess, reasonable. And then after that, they got the assemblers just throwing the dash in, and then they got the quality techs coming in, checking it out, make sure every little thing's perfect, every little piece of tape's on there, you know what I mean? There's something wrong with it. There's something wrong with it, dude. They fucking throw it in the trash. They don't, they don't even mess with it again. They don't even try to fucking fix a dent or a nick or anything or messed up fucking rotated fucking uh, fender. I seen them throw away like fucking 10 cars here, basically. Wow. You know? Yeah, wow. They throw cars in the trash. Now, I know what, um, I know what he's trying to say. Uh, but what he's actually, what he's trying to say is that they're perfectionists and that they uh, really like like their cars to be just so. 
But what I'm hearing him say is that they have uh, a pretty high failure rate in terms of cars actually passing quality control and in critical ways. If they're throwing whole cars away, and if he's seen 10 of them and they've only produced a few hundred, well, that's something they're going to need to iron out. Yeah, well, they're really trying to protect probably that battery pack. You know? Oh, sure. But if you want to know about that, you just got to go to the Germans because they don't even know. Got The Germans are the ones that built it. Oh, wow. They don't Aren't they building those up the road somewhere? Oh, Nicola? No. No, no, Lucid is building the battery packs up the road. In Hilla, Hilla Bend, yeah. They have, the, they have them coming down and doing that, yeah. That's in Hilla Bend? It's right here. Well, I know where Hilla Bend is. But... No, the road, Hilla, Hilla Bend. Oh, oh Hilla okay. Bend I thought you meant the city. It's like right here. Okay. So the big one on this is he's saying that don't ask him how the batteries work because nobody at Lucid actually knows. The Germans know. And he also mentioned that uh, the batteries are being made in Gila Bend. Hmm. Interesting. And he said Gila Bend Road, but that looked like a residential neighborhood. So maybe I, maybe my Google foo has failed me. But um, yeah, I would... I would believe that their battery technology is outsourced. That would make a lot more sense. Well, what do you guys want to know? I, I take pays. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, they're not doing anything crazy in there, dude. Yeah. They're just working their asses off. I really love what this guy is trying to do. What, what he's... What he's clearly trying to do is instill confidence. And I appreciate that. And I got to be honest... Even his crazy talk literally instills more confidence in Lucid Motors to me than, than any of their actual authorized behavior. Um, I'm sure the CEO is very capable and competent, but I've not really seen him outside of very tightly controlled environments. And uh, I'd like to see him take some, some actual questions. I'd like to see him take some of my questions because that would do it. That would do it. So do they have a way to shoot drones down? Uh, I guess you can't say that. Uh, I think they have like an EMP machine thing. That's what I thought. Yeah. They, they may have used that. It'll, it'll, get, it'll hit that. That's a federal offense. Well, you do it then see what happens. I'm interested, dude. Well, no, it's them. Like, I'm worried if you guys do it. That's, that's... We don't do it. Well, no, that's what I asked. It's, them. This is Homeland Security. If they have their own thing it's homeland security federal it's they don't apply to any state law there is this they land right here homeland security land no not really no it is the airspace the airspace i don't know how that fucking works I, my house. <laughs> airspace i don't know how that works dude. I mean. so there's a couple things here he said that uh, that it's a homeland security property um it is not there are signs up that refer to it as a international trade zone, which may be a designation they somehow managed to get that modifies, I believe, the penalties for certain crimes, theft, vandalism, I don't know, intellectual property theft. I'm not sure, uh, but they uh, there's no indication that the Department of Homeland Security owns this property or that they ever would own a car factory. The second part is that Riley from Bears Workshop asked, are they using EMPs to interfere with our drones? And his answer was, I think so, yeah. Which would kind of uh, jive with what, uh, with what Riley and Bear have experienced with some peculiar difficulties with their Mavic. I say you just fucking do it, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> That's what I said. He's like, nope, nope. I want to make friends. Oh, you want to make friends? Just go up there and ask for tours. That never occurred to me. That literally never occurred to me. I'm not even joking. Oh, wait, we're not. How many people, how many people I've seen we're not dressed for a tour. So, for the record, it had occurred to me. Um, I reached out to them along with everyone else uh, who was along my road trip path. And... Lucid decided not to respond to my requests, uh, which it doesn't help. Nicola Motors, who has every reason not to like me, did respond to my request. The answer was no, 
but I appreciate that. I respect it. Arkimoto responded saying, yes, please come visit. We'd love to show you the factory. Um, yeah, there was a lot of... There was a handful of no's, but there were very few who just completely didn't answer me at all. And the idea that a stranger off the street is going to get to be able to tour a factory that even CNBC isn't allowed to see the inside of is hard to swallow. I, I don't know him personally, but he knows who I am, apparently. Yeah, I know. Well, they got a whole security team in there that just well, fucking well, well, they put those Facebook signs up. And, they put those signs up for us. I've been talking to different people in there. I talked to Len Devana and Ted Nugent or something. <laughs> Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not out here. I'm surprised he's not watching. No, they are his, boss, his boss showed up. So, there is a... So at that point, his supervisor showed up. I put the little purple triangle on him there. And uh, very abruptly, the interview, just like that, was over. And I hope he didn't get in too much trouble. It was his last day. Like he said, what are they going to do, fire him? But still, I don't want to see the guy get in trouble. I appreciate what he did for us, for investors, for everyone. So here's the deal. Yeah, you can see the video, the uncut one. Here's what I'll do. If I get uh, 500 likes and 500 comments on this here video, I'll go ahead and make the full uncut interview public. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, it's got some tidbits in it that aren't in this, um, but not, uh, you know, uh, more context is what you're getting. And uh, there's a surprise or two in there. Um, or you could just head over to Patreon patreon.com slash glossy news and see it now. It's already up. Oh, and a big thanks to my Patreons because without them, the road trip could not have happened. And without the road trip, this footage never would have happened. So literally my patrons are the reason this video exists because Bear doesn't carry a camera like this around and didn't have a spare person to shoot it anyhow. So thank you guys so much. And with that said, here is the last little bit of the video. Like and subscribe. Talk to you soon, I guess. That, that is uh, CNN reliable sources right yeah. there. So there is a 0% chance they would let us into the building and all of that was incredible. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Bear's getting me the exclusive hookups all day. I don't even know where to start. <sighs> I don't even know what to expect, but that was not it. That was not it either. I'm glad we parked here. Let's uh, let's get the goodbye done. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the wave out. Yeah, that was a weird one. Pretty exclusive, pretty interesting. What did I miss or misunderstand? What should I have asked that very sane, very reasonable person? Let me know in the comments. Stay tuned, stay juicy. Can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity flop, but I have got to get out of here.